Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Waypoint Aviation. Today we're going to talk about a, a couple of videos that we got a huge response on Instagram and YouTube and our uh, TikTok and other platforms. So we're going to have a look at these videos and then we're going to dive into them, explain what was the point of them, see some of the answers and discuss a couple of points. So let's go with the first one. Getting towards your minimas. You get an engine fire. Pause the sim. What would you do here? Would you go around or would you continue for the landing? Comment below. All right, so now we are back at that point where we are at minima. We just got our engine fire. Still on. And we'll continue. So the idea was to see what will the aircraft do if we get surges or just to spool down or still on fire, but the thrust is still, is the engine is still giving thrust while burning. So we'll look at each scenario and uh, let's see what happens. And autopilot comes off. Flying it. Cat one. So you see the engine is dropping and coming back, maintaining, trying to get on the center line. There we go. On the runway, it's pulling a little bit to the side, keep the center line braking, and stop, come to a complete stop, and now we do the cam and the others. So as you saw, it's the engine thrust was coming all the way down and back and all the way down and back, so I had to put a lot of rudder in, left, right, left, right, just to keep it in the center line and then come for the landing. Uh, so this is the first scenario. Let's have a look at some of the others. Minimum. Okay, we're about it off. We've got the fire. Thrust is rolling back in this case. I'm putting a little bit of rudder, correcting on the approach. A little bit on the low side, it's fine. Got red, so we're gonna try to keep it there. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, There we go. Bring it down, slowly bring it back on the center line. And bring it to a complete stop and then deal with it with the fire so you mishandle the approach and you find yourself here are you going to try to correct and get back on the runway you're on the left way off the left uh, if we try to do something like that 50. very aggressive 40. at 50 feet 30. will you land You're flying an RNAV approach and you are approaching minima. What happens if I don't disconnect the autopilot and let the aircraft Four. continue? Comment below. Minima. So on the second scenario, the video we just saw, we are doing an RNAV approach, 3-0 left, non-precision, and we are at minima and we're going to leave the autopilot on one or two doesn't matter let's see what happens and then we will uh, talk about it a little bit 100 above. so 100 above so that's minima now You're getting to minima and an hour r and 30 minima. left there we go we're keeping the autopilot on and let's see what happens FGS, F-Lock, we've got an F-App 
approach. Three hundred. Check minimum was six hundred. So three hundred. We still got the autopilot engaged. Still doing well. Two hundred. Still got the autopilot on. Got the glide slope. It's maintaining 600 feet per minute all the way to the ground. So it's gonna hit. Very positive landing there. So it's just taking it all the way down to the runway. So the autopilot stayed on all the way down to the uh, runway. We're not sure if it's uh, the simulator or the aircraft would do the same however looking at the um, looking at the uh, auto flight system in the AFM uh, it says as we can see here uh, in approach with FGS mode got 200 uh, AGL that's the minimum however the autopilot will actually stay there not the best position you're supposed to disconnect it but it stayed in there and uh, in approach with final approach uh, vs or fpa 250 agl so these are the limitations of the autopilot just having a quick look but in our simulator it technically kept the 600 feet per minute all the way down to the ground you have to be very careful with that the RNAV approach is uh, a non-precision approach, so it could go off center line. Some of them actually are designed with an offset, uh, two, three degrees, some more. So you could be landing in the grass or even outside the airport. However, to answer the question, the old pilot stayed on in the simulator all the way down to the ground. Since we've got the autopilot function uh, page uh, displayed, we're going to have a quick uh, chat about it here and to also address a lot of the comments that we saw on the social media platform and uh, in the comments of uh, the uh, respective video. So we have a look down here and we see ILS approach when CAT1 is displayed on the FMA and we get 160 AGL so the aircraft should the autopilot should be disconnected at 160 feet AGL another one is the um, the in all other phases uh, which include open descent descent uh, and so on the autopilot should be disconnected to about 500 AGL however if you are at in vertical speed or F, track FPA or FPA flight path angle 250 is there now it's very interesting that uh, the in the simulator as we saw the autopilot stayed on all the way and I believe it is an operator's choice to choose whether the autopilot disconnects at these numbers here or uh, a message gets displayed uh, on the uh, PFD stating uh, disconnect for landing or disconnect autopilot for landing or something like that. Uh, I've seen operators uh, where they've uh, programmed it to disconnect the autopilot. Some where the, the that remark in amber, you get it uh, across the um, PFD. And, um, and the third one is what we saw in the simulator today, which is just it drives it straight into the uh, runway. Thank you for uh, joining us in Waypoints Aviation and we hope you enjoyed our video.